We're going to get a check on our weather with Darren Peck and a you put up my goats. Well, I, I just wanted to revisit a moment in the newscast <laughs> from earlier in the hour. I was so disappointed. Amanda had a fantastic pun. None of us got it. We did a story on how goats are eating the grasses and the dry twigs uh, on the hills above North Oakland. And she said, what a trip. <laughs> Went over all of our heads. Thank Never you. heard this. This is why, Darren, I love when he's here with us. So Thank you. Can you <laughs> fill us in? A trip is exactly what? A trip is a herd. It's a group of goats. So, and you know yeah. this how? Goats in my backyard. Okay. You know? <laughs> Fire weather. You got to be safe. You use the goats. It's a lot easier we than learned, me having to go out there and do it. We learned something. <laughs> All right. Let's start out with a look from the top of the Salesforce Tower. From this vantage point, you can see the play on this day. It's going to be more sunshine than anything else for the overwhelming majority of us, even the goats. But from the vantage point looking off towards the north, you can see the low clouds are just now trying to work their way in over Alcatraz. It's got the bridge pretty much socked in. So right through the Golden Gate, we've got some low clouds. But everybody else is looking at sunshine today. Temperatures out there range in the mid and upper 50s. Current numbers now. We don't go much above the mid to upper 80s for most of our warmest spots today. It's going to be just like the last few days have been. And if you're not keeping track, this is below average. We're going to get another day where the temperatures come in kind of in that sweet spot. Mid 80s in the South Bay. It'll be 79 in San Mateo. We'll see the numbers for our inland valleys in the East Bay warming up into the upper 80s. You've got some 90s coming by Sunday here, or at least more widespread 90s here. But for today and tomorrow, it's going to be a lot like this. Livermore, you'll hit 85. Uh, we'll top out at 72 in Alameda. Berkeley goes to 74. San Rafael will hit 85. Santa Rosa goes to 88. And we'll see the temperatures in Mendocino and Lake County holding on to the mid and upper 80s. We've been getting off real easy for most of the last, I would say, probably three to four weeks. We really haven't had any significant spikes in the heat. And the reason we've been able to do that is kind of an unusual pattern right off the coast. You barely see it when you look at the regular satellite. If you bring in the water vapor, you can kind of see it. That's a trough, an area of low pressure right off our coast. Does not normally happen in summer here. And for like the last three weeks, it's been kind of a constant on again, off again thing. Watch it in the future, cats. See the spin in the clouds? Right there, area of low pressure. As long as you have one of those, that will keep the temperatures in line. And we have that at least through tomorrow, because then that thing falls apart and leaves. We're left to our own. The temperatures go back to doing what they like to do for this time of year, which means San Jose, you got to go to 90. But it doesn't last long because after that, we'll cool back down into the mid 80s going into the middle of next week. See that in the seven day forecast here as well. Sunday and Monday for those microclimates, low 90s for a couple of days, and then you'll cool back down into the mid 80s. For